Tonight, researchers estimate that more than 200 million Americans in all 50 states could have toxic chemicals in their drinking water. They're called PFAS, which until now has been virtually indestructible. In our series, American Innovation, CBS's Mark Strassman shows us a new technology that could calm our water worries. It's incredible the amount of PFAS. Sandy Winstelt discovered too late her Michigan home sat across from a former waste dump. My well tested at, I don't know, 25, 30,000 parts per trillion, and the EPA health advisory is 70. Her husband, Joel, died of cancer six years ago. She has had thyroid cancer. For more than 20 years, they drank well water contaminated with possible carcinogens called PFAS. You can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't smell it. You will not know it's there unless you test for it. PFAS, man-made, practically indestructible chemicals, resist oil and water. They've been found in some firefighting foams, facial makeup, and non-stick cookware. And this is an issue in all 50 states? All 50 states, that's correct. Amy Dindel's with Battelle, a scientific nonprofit with promising technology to eliminate the PFAS threat. It's pumping the dirty water into our system. This dirty water is contaminated. And this is where our reaction system is happening here. This is where the PFAS go it's away. Destroyed. That's correct. Intense heat and pressure break down the chemical bonds. It takes seconds. I absolutely think it's an answer that nobody's had before. Brian Ricardo, CEO of a waste management company, partnering with Battelle. We're hoping to have a scalable version of the plant within six to eight months. So end of the year? Yeah. This new technology could put these forever chemicals in the past. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Grand Rapids, Michigan.